I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome or welcome back to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I am reacting to the production line, the new Lethal Company song by The Stupendium and Dan Bull, or Dan Bull and The Stupendium, depending on which version you're watching. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician, which means I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise lies. What this means to you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over the song and missing some lines, uh, missing some bars in the case of a rap song, which also means missing jokes or laughing over the jokes. This way I'm not doing any of that. I'm not missing anything, though I might still miss things. Uh, and this way I can give my feedback, my immediate reaction. Uh, in more cases than not, my immediate analysis. Talk about how the video works in tandem with the song lyrics to help elevate both. How the jokes work or don't work. Sometimes it's expensive explaining jokes, and sometimes it's just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive in to the video today. It's been a little bit since I've done one of these. Uh, I took like a month off, and now we're diving back in with a new Stupendium song. Another song about corporations and, and the evilness of them. If you're not familiar with the Lethal Company game, you are basically... It's a, it's a multiplayer game. You're a team of people who are salvaging scrap for money and you have a certain quota to meet, and if you don't meet that quota, you meet an untimely end. Uh, also, trying to get that scrap will help you meet an untimely end. Uh, there are a lot of real-world comparisons I'm sure one can make with this type of thing, So, uh, but it is a very popular game right now, so naturally we have a song about it. Let's check it out. Oh, and also, I do know that Dan Bull's version has an alternate ending. We'll be checking that out at the end. The only words you can understand are subscribing now. Oh, everything is hidden underneath the mask. That's great. You can still tell it's you can still tell it's stoops by the the raised eyebrow and the glasses, but everything else is hidden by the the uh, life giving helmet. Anyway, as you can see. Steel, iron, nuts and bolts. Poor man's golden, rusted bolts. Scrap. Uh, yes, I'm going to pause it right away. Um, yeah, all of this is poor man's gold. You're, you're finding all these bits of scrap and materials and nuts and bolts, and sometimes it's energy units and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's what you get paid to find. Uh, also, going back to the very opening of the thing, yeah, I would be remiss if I didn't mention how uh, in the Stupendium's logo, it is it, it does the traditional logo that we're, we're used to, the, uh, the the silhouetted face, and uh, is followed by uh, the big swooping S, and I feel like we're probably going to see it transition to the S symbol uh, more often than the old style logo um, as videos become more and more plentiful. I'm just getting that feeling. I don't know if that to be true or not, but that's just kind of what I'm getting a feeling about. Uh, so don't be surprised if that sort of thing happens. I have no insider information on any of this. It's just, it's just my guesswork here. Um, because we've been seeing it a lot pop up recently, especially with the, the newer videos like uh, Amateur Wordsmith and, and uh, Adequate Wordsmith, seeing that symbol become more prominent in those videos and seeing it go along with this one as well, it's kind of just a feeling I have. Anyway, song. Fate. Oh, <laughs> your fate. Oh, 
So, yeah. Uh, you, you, you signed up for this kind of thing, you know. All that glitters isn't merely gold, uh, because it fades in time. Yeah, that's great animation in the opening, as usual. Uh, love this stuff. Like, whenever Stoops and Dam team up, there are such fast and furious bars happening. All of the, that whole section ending with the same rhyme pattern is so, so good and so fast that it goes by in such a blur that I have to rewind. Uh, just so, so good and... It's such a testament to to the way that they work on these songs. Like, you have this kind of slower opening with the animation, and then when it gets into the live action with the full set and costumes, because production value, hey, uh, every Stupendium song, uh, amazing production value. Um, and always getting better, too. Uh, just, like, getting into that speedy stuff uh, is just... It's humbling. <laughs> It starts with or ever again and then every line after that starts that same rhyme scheme through. It's incredible. <laughs> The first person camera live action representation of what you see in the game where you're like, oh, let's identify what that scrap is, and it's a piece of candy. That came out sounding a little James Woodsy and I didn't mean that at all. Um, uh, just having that represented in live action is hilarious. Uh, just because, you know, hey, it's a game and we're doing it in live action, it, it's always just funny to me. Uh, and I dig it. Also, I just noticed this song is seven minutes, <laughs> which means this video, this reaction, is gonna be at least a half an hour. <laughs> Knowing me, just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, let's take it back a little bit to the beginning of Dan's verse here. <laughs> We're happy and diligent, but that's only if you're listening to the transmissions. <laughs> that's that's very great. Home is where the hall is. That's so good. Like they both work so well together, uh, and, and they 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 work off of each other's writing really well. They pair up really well. Uh, it's always a treat when Dan and Stoops do a song together. Um, yeah, we we know where this is going as far as the corporatization of of the this extreme corporatization of the workforce here, uh, and and how uh, disposable they can become. <laughs> The omnipotent voice that tells you where to go. Yeah, it's like suddenly, how does this voice? It's supposed to tell us where the scrap is, and uh, yeah, it's good. Purge the lunar surface of its worth to meet our daily quota. That summarizes the game. <laughs> so, oh man. And, okay, this the next line, living to work, like, this is like a spiritual successor to the fine print. We earn the right to work to earn the right to live. Uh, uh in, so good. So good. Another purpose of the 
service of a slave and I was worked The lunar surface of its work to be the daily crime Some of us are living to work Some of us are working to live Some of us are making the world Some of us are taking the soul Some of us are dying to be Like... The sets, the camera work, the whole production value of the video versus the production value of the song, which is also fantastic. Uh, having a more melodic chorus, uh, I mean, Stoops' choruses tend to be pretty melodic, but having both of them singing on it and having uh, it, the chorus might be a little slower than how the verses are played out, too. Um, just this whole production value thrown into this. I, I'm apparently talking about production value a lot, and the song is called The Production Line, and that's two different versions of production. Um, uh, <laughs> the way that this is produced versus, you know, the work that they are producing in the song. I'm not meaning to talk about those two same words, different meaning things there. Um, yes, I know that there's a word for that, but I'm not going to say it because I always get those words confused for other things, so hence it's ironic. Um, I've forgotten my point and we're moving on. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. I love that Dan's outfit has his logo on it, Stoops's has the swooping S. Love it. Love the little details. And, yeah, you know, it, it, working for the lazy boss so that, you know, you, trying not to be at a profit loss or, or a quota loss so that you're not eliminated and you're just trying to, to work to survive, literally and figuratively, and, you know, it's only all in service to the boss itself rather than to you, because you're not making any money yourself. <laughs> they only hire me because I'm, you know, replaceable, because I can be replaced, you know, be I'm trying to be available, you know, they erase your family uh, stuff, you know, you're, you're, you, you can't have any family attachments, apparently, uh, or at least they, they allude to that idea, and, uh, you know, finding it almost inspirational to be like, well, yeah, you, you, of course, I'm the one that's uh, replaceable, but I'm going to work so that I'm not replaceable. That's a weird inspiration to, to get. Um, going to roll it back and, and play it again, because it's just, again, so rapid fire and so much to absorb. It's the stuff at double machine. It's about the time your diary erase it all. They'll only hire me if I'll be reliably available. Yes, yeah, they'll only hire me if I'll be reliably available. Yeah, you know, erase all the your family time from your diary, you know, make sure that you're not attached so that you can go out and be dispatched, double meaning there, dispatched meaning sent out, and also dispatched meaning, ugh. Um, uh, so much doublage, and I said that one, and that one, uh, you know, is only inferred in the song. Uh, uh, words, I'm, yeah. Okay, so that's relatable. I'm sure. I'm sure there are people out there who, who you know, working to live, uh, working to have a life, and because of that, sacrificing the life that they would live to work. Um, kind of the point of this song, kind of the point of the fine print. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure that there are many people who can who can relate to that sort of unending work dreariness of, you know, I'm I'm working to have a life, but I don't have a life because I'm working. Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a great line too, yeah. You know, because the minimum wage currently, especially in America, isn't enough to uh, support the increase inflation has put on, you know, housing or food or, you know, just any really general life needs. You know, uh, you're working so much and the amount that you make at work isn't enough to offset the cost of living. Um, that's incredibly deep and incredibly sad and kind of what's happening now, not just in a game. These songs are never really about the games, but yes. To sacrifice our family lives for those on high hill band On empires founded on the thousands drowned in the cement I am the very model of a model employee And, and every so often you have a reference uh, to Stoops' uh, musical theater love I am the very model of a modern major general uh, is, is uh, from the Pirates of Penzance and uh, and which has also been, I believe, parodied with the elements um, by Tom Lehrer. Um, but this is I am the very model of a model employee. So it's kind of a, a, a lyrical reference, if not melody wise. Um, but, uh, you know, that's always great. I never leave my shuttle, can't afford to pay the speeds. My overtime goes overtime, I work nine days a week. And nine days a week? That's not... Um, is it because you're on the moon and the solar cycle is different? That it's nine days a week? That's awful. Because there's only seven days in a week and that's more... It's not how time works. Ouch. I mean, I know the Beatles sang about eight days a week, but that was... Hyperbole. And I'll never hit that bar till it's time to take a breeze. That's an Amazon reference. <laughs> uh, Amazon workers, Amazon delivery drivers, and people in the warehouse uh, are so drastically overworked they don't get a chance to take bathroom breaks, and some of them have been known to have to pee in bottles instead of going to the bathroom properly. Um, uh, that is. That is straight up a reference to Amazon. Wow. The comparison of a work time to being a prison sentence. Um, again, relatable vibes off of this stuff. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of really good stuff there. Uh, everything's supposed to be in tip-top condition, a, a, you're not given a tip, uh, that's just some fun wordplay. Just to have this, like, kind of sing-songy melody to the rhymes about such dire situations uh, set against the goofy dances that you can do in the game done in live action. It's such a good parallel between the two, the, the, the dichotomy between the two of, like, you know, something sounding uplifting in its melody or in its temper or, you know, in the, the visuals where they're dancing, but the actual lyrics being something kind of sad and, and dreary and, and, and almost hopeless feeling. It's, it's an interesting dichotomy between the two, and that's what, honestly, that's where you derive a lot of comedies, between the differences between two disparate uh, positions. Um, you gotta love that. I mean, the idea of it, not the actual sad thing. Don't love that, because obviously... Moonlight on a new moonlight, you're trying to find Luke Knight. Ooh, that'll boo nicely. Man, Luke, you're a fish shop sign. Pound, 
Dale Bar. You fuck mine. No, mine. No, mine. Oh my gosh. So many great little, like, hey, we found these little goofy things that we had props for or had from other videos and whatnot. And the the back and forth of gift bag, no mine, meaning it belongs to me, no mine, you're standing on a landmine. So good, so funny. Just it it it, it works on <laughs> every level. <laughs> it's so good. Signal lost. Should you be hurt in our place of employment, it will be worse than a man date. The white man, there isn't a nurse with whom to make an appointment. There's really just certain doom painfully poignant. <laughs> There's really just certain doom painfully poignant. <laughs> just great lines. Just great lines. Each day for the photo scrap, keep struggling to meet pay, get some on the gap, cheap labor can be replaced when they're up for tell a Work, oh my gosh, I, I have to go back and listen to that again. Cheap labor, can be replaced when cheap labor can be replaced when there are fatalities. Cool. Several men a week slayed uh, tumbling from the gantries. Uh, the gantries, I think, are, you know, the, the higher places of the giant uh, silo or... or, or factory or warehouse wherever you're picking up the scrap from um i think the gantries are also more like a, a catwalk type area um i think i'm sure someone will correct me in the comments Ooh. in what dimension is all the scrap you were sent to get worth more than the lives you sent to get it yeah <laughs> That in in the world where the company is only looking at the profits rather than the people. Gee, I wonder what that's like. It's in the millions who inherit and then build the equipment while they get to spend the credits. Have you had an accident at work that wasn't your fault? There you have it. We laugh that we may not weep because. There are way too many uh, corporations, bosses, what have you, who think exactly that. Yeesh. Uh, my phone is blowing up. What the hell? What's, what's going on here? Uh, so many things. It's just a lot of crap. All right, whatever. Don't care. All right. Back to this. In that shot, the profit, the profit quota and what you've actually collected keep fluctuating. Like, they keep moving the goalposts as far as your quota is. When you meet the quota and then they've moved it far... No, actually, you didn't meet your quota. You need to get more for us. That's relatable, too. We all signed the production line. That's funny. You know, the production line is the line of production. The line of where... Things, you know, you think of a production line as like basically a warehouse thing where things are moving down the line to be produced. But we all signed the production line, meaning you signed the line on the contract about production. Yeah. It's a hell of a show, better the devil you know. Just another shift, try to keep the grip. Have slept the wake and my vision starts to drift. We're here to sell you your soul next day and ready to go. Wow, just great uh, alternating voices here in in both of their desperate situations. Um, they're the same desperate situation, situation, but it is different. Being it's it, you know each individual is different. They're facing the same things, but they, you know the the idea is you know they're both singing about the same thing but differently. Um, it's fun. It's it just the the comparison between the two, the the melding of the two ideas and the two styles there, is really great. Just 
Yeah, wow. Uh, don't think about what makes the engines burn. It's all the, uh, the, the implication there being is that it's all the employees who died. They got fed to the furnace. That's dark, and I wonder if that's actually in the game itself or not. Uh, it's interesting. The couldn't be any nicer. She was just like, might as well give up and die, bro. It isn't that likely we'll experience retirement when staying alive is a minimum requirement. It isn't that likely we'll experience retirement when staying alive is a minimum requirement. Wow. Whew. <laughs> you feel that. Jeez. Trained up tight, I'm trained up tight. I trade my trade for a train drive But I'm afraid that the end of the line is in the place I'll arrive till the end of the line. There's a reference to their uh, Choo Choo Charles song, The End of the Line. Um, I trade my trade for a train driver's. Your trade meaning your, your work trade. So I would trade, meaning exchange, my trade, my work trade, for a train driver's. Trains being what they sing about in End of the Line. Train drive by, but, I'm but I'm afraid that the end of the line, the title of the song, that they worked on together... Is in a place I will arrive to the end of my life. I won't reach the end of the line, the end of the train line, or the end of my life line, until my life is ended. Great stuff. Great stuff. Just, just love it. Just dire. Just dire. How many tragedy masks? We all march in production line. We all march in production line. They may have said that before and I missed it. Uh, marching in line, but we all march in production line, meaning that we are sometimes the product itself. Uh, you know, we're, we're being used to get the profits, so we are the production itself. Yeah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! Did the wrong thing there. <laughs> Just the dead-eyed stare as they dance. Yeah. They're in deep excess. En route to Company Moon. We didn't make the quota, so we're going to die. Oh. So, yes, the mask and ended up killing the other person. Sad. Bye, Dan. I'm sure it's different in Dan's version. And that's quite enough of that. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and a huge thank to the incredible Dan Bull, who was, as ever, a joy to collaborate with on this project, as well as to Freshy Canal and Fritz, who we work with on the beat. If you oh wow! Be sure to check out the play. Uh, instrumental by Freshy Canal, Fritz, Dan Bull, and the Stipendium, mixed by OO Oxygen. Bravo to all. Uh, that was really great. My other music videos and don't I'm gonna check out Dan's uh, version and of course, shortly, like, so let me comment, uh, bell, fast forward and to that, in the meantime, I've and then we'll pick up with Dan's thing. With pink slime. Okay, we've fast forwarded to the end. I watched a little bit of it to make sure that it was just the ending that has changed here, so uh, I, I was listening to the previous verses, and the previous verses are all the same. So I, we're at the point where I think the things change, and that was when the, the final repetition of the chorus and whatnot with production line. So let's check that out. Uh, I've noticed another one, toe the production line, to toe the line is a, is a, a, a idiom that means to keep working, to toe the line. I think it means that. I could be a little off on the translation there, but... This is all a little still the same. The gathering of the different supplies. Somebody else has found the mask, I'm assuming. 
We don't know who found it in the last one. And they're dead. This is all still kind of the same. I think it may be the very end part of had to, who dies or not might be the only difference. Okay, so instead of uh, instead of in the previous one, Dan's holding a screw and Stoops is holding a power cell. This time, Dan's holding a stop sign and uh, Stoops is holding a thing of bottles. This this is obviously this part is where things have changed. I thought it was a little bit more forward, but obviously not. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Instead of one killing the other, they both got killed by the boss, whatever tentacled entity or whatever is in there that says they didn't meet their quota. Yeah. Uh, and we have a different shot of the smoking, broken uh, helmet. That is uh, fantastic. And uh, okay, so of course, links to both of these are going to be in the description box below, so you can check them out without me yammering all over them. Please go show Stupendium and Dan Bull some love. Uh, if you did like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe my video. Uh, it helps with the algorithm and get more eyeballs on it so that people can see it. If you really want to help the channel out, my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons uh, like these folks over here in the credits to my side, get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of cool things like that. Anyway, hope you enjoy that. We'll see you next time. Bye. I see you coming in my rearview mirror. My heart starts pounding as you're getting nearer. But as you pass me, I don't need to wonder. Cause I can see what's pretty.